Virus wins it to grant an easy detection of Microsoft Defender that you can see popping up in the system. It typically flags a threat that targets a deal in significant damage to the computer, but can in certain cases be a false alarm. In this video, I will explain its dangers, show how to understand that the threat is false, and how to remove the real threat. In normal situations, virus wins it to Granham can flag a wide variety of malicious programs, from loaders, spyware and vectors to ransomware. The name is totally generic, there is no big malware family that has such naming. The signatures that are used to detect the malware are not very reliable, which leaves plenty of room for incorrect detections, but we will get back to it later. Symptoms of the active malware may differ, as different virus types behave differently. The general rule of thumb for modern malware is that they tend to show as little visual activity as possible. All you can expect is seeing your network traffic consumption going up, console windows blinking and your files becoming impossible to assess. But in a few days other effects may pop up. Online accounts that you have on the infected PC may start sending tons of spam messages, which is a definite sign of them being hijacked. There is also a possibility of this detection being a false positive. As I said, rules used for this detection are not highly reliable. If the defender cannot find the digital certificate of the file or it is expired, it can indicate the file as dangerous, as a lot of functions and calls that normal programs use also appear in malware. The certificate in this case is the only way to distinguish between good and bad. But how to understand whether you should worry about the Troy and Winston 2 Granham detection or not? Manual analysis may be complicated, especially since malicious programs can sometimes mix their files with legit applications. For that reason, I recommend running a second opinion scan with Greninsoft and Timelware. It will quickly reveal whether there is any threat to your system or not. Download it by the link in the video description and run a full scan, so the program will go through all the system elements, down to configuration files and hidden folders. The scan will take around 15 minutes. After the scan, click the Clean Now button to remove the detected malware. If no detections appear during the scan, then you have likely seen a false positive detection. But when there are malicious programs, I would recommend you to reset all the passwords that you have in the system. This way, cybercriminals will not be able to use the leaked credentials. In any case, good luck and stay safe online.